sessions. And I think one of the things that we were keen to be able to do was to be able to get us together uh, to have some fun and learning together. And so we have in our signature style uh, for, for several years uh, regaled the members with our ability to combine the fine arts and the performing arts uh, with learning insights. So in keeping with that, I'm really delighted and excited to be able to present the very first in our Sundowner series, um, the, in, in, in our Sundowner series uh, as part of our learning events um, through the lockdown. So this is to be able to brighten up your evening and keep you happily entertained um, through music and through other performing arts. Before I hand over to Sunita to be able to get started and of course spend a couple of minutes to be able to introduce both of them, I want to quickly call out the next two sundowner sessions that we're expecting tomorrow and the day after. Uh, we have uh, Mahesh Raghavan, who's an outstanding instrumentalist, and I recommend strongly that you um, log in again at 6.30 tomorrow with your family to be able to listen to him. He has an incredible lineup of music that he's planned for you. Uh, and then, of course, the Sunday session is a not to miss. Uh, it's being presented in association with Leo Girl Productions. Who, who create theater and learning content for social change. And this time they have uh, COVID-19 monologues as the program that they are presenting. It's using theater and has six very outstanding theater artists who will present to you what's going on in the minds of so many people that we know in snatches and we know in bits and pieces and all of us will be, will see some part of ourselves in those narratives. So I'm going to recommend that you all come in on board and join us on Sunday as well. So this is going to be a plethora of entertainment and learning through the weekend starting today. Um, so today we're going to have the healing through positivity and music and um, you know we could have anyone uh, better than Sunita Bhuya to be able to come in uh, on board to be able to present this together uh, with our absolute standing and talented son Ranujit Bhuya. So I want you to join me in welcoming both of them. Um, you know, if you want to be able to unmike you for, um, you know, I think uh, Sunit, as we in introduce Sunita, we must get off everyone's mic so that they can clap for her. For an artist, it's so incredibly important to be encouraged. So I'm going to try and do that periodically so that she can hear you. Uh, but I want to be able to introduce those of you who have not had the opportunity to hear Sunita Buya before. I want to say a couple of things about her. Uh, breaking myths is what violinist Sunita Bhuya does best. She's easily the ace violinist in our country. And uh, she's also a trailblazer within the uh, corporate world where she does a fair amount of um, uh, learning sessions. Um, her music therapy uh, workshops for 20,000 uh, less privileged children across India has gotten her a lot of recognition from the Pope himself. Uh, and finally, she's the first violinist in India to play Assamese folk and the hitherto classical instrument violin and fuse it with Scottish and Irish folk. Uh, Sunita and her son Ranujit Bhuya have been actively engaging and spreading positivity via music uh, from home during the lockdown and were the first to do a balcony concert as a tribute to Corona fighters, uh, which was covered by the mainstream media from five floors down, maintaining social distancing. Uh, Sunita's seven tips for music during the lockdown had been featured in various publications and we requested her to be able to weave that narrative as she presents her very outstanding music with the very outstanding Ronaljit Bhuya today. This is going to be a 45 minutes performance and at the end of that we're going to try and request her to be able to do a couple of um, request um, pieces. So do put those up and we'll try and choose some of them which we can request her to be able to play. I must also let you know that Sunita is not just an instrumentalist, she's also a vocalist. And I do know that very many of you who've joined us here today are great fans of not just Sunita's, uh, you know, violinist uh, uh, talents, but also her talent as a singer. So we try and see how much we can convince Sunita to be able to do and offer us this evening. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, um, healing through positivity and music. Sunit, can we unmike everyone so you can give a very thundering round of applause to this very incredible musician called Sunita Buya. So can you please unmike everybody and let's all just welcome Sunita and her very incredible son, um, Ranajit. Can we hear some sound, please? 
Anit, are you able to unmic everyone? Yeah, we won't be able to do so. You're not able to, un are you not able to unmute? Uh, Sunit? We won't be able to unmute the audience. All right, you've already muted them, so you're not able to unmute them right now. Yes. All right, we'll periodically see how we can try and bring you on. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you know, can we, uh, can we have the camera on, please, to be able to present Sunita Buya and the very, very outstanding Ronajit Buya, please. Great, over to you, Sunita. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Sujaya. Thank you so very much for the warm invitation to start off the uh, Sundowner series, especially during the lockdown for the learning and development uh, uh, and OD roundtable. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a privilege and a pleasure to be associated with all of you. You know, it's going to be seven long years that we have been working uh, together. So uh, I think uh, um, I'm so very happy that uh, we've managed to do different kinds of things. Uh, thanks to your pushing and your ideas at times that you've made me uh, come up with nice new things. And today we are here. Um, and I like the word sundowner, you know, but actually the sun is just going to be setting uh, in, into the Arabian Sea, We're five minutes away from Marine Drive where we are in Church Gate. But, but to be able to get you the nice sound of an acoustic violin without any mics, no pickup. As you can see, it's got a, it's got a provision for a pickup. So in big concerts, I really get a huge wire here and then it can just, the sound can boom for thousands and thousands of people. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it completely unplugged. An acoustic violin, which is 100 years old. Um, and then of course we have a real acoustic piano uh, and that's Ronaji, who's going to be uh, joining me for, uh, for the Hi, session. Hello. Hi um, and welcome. And, uh, and uh, all, you know, this, this is going to be our eighth or ninth session during the lockdown since the 22nd of March. And I've never seen Ronald Reed kind of open the piano up completely. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's completely open. So he probably wants a little more sound to go out uh, today as we play. So, well, um, so, well, I'll start with a piece that... Um, you know, I don't want to call it my signature piece that sounds so pompous, but that's my ritual, a piece that I play for our country. And I think there is no better time than now to say thanks to all the COVID warriors across India and outside India, our doctors, our medical healthcare professionals, providers, the administration, the police, uh, the grocery stores, the medical stores, all the bankers, all our banker friends who are going to work every day. And people like all of you at the LNOD who have been thinking of different mm -hmm. kinds of ways to be able to survive mm -hmm. even after the lockdown. You know, yesterday's session on talent at, uh, at the workplace post-COVID. I mean, that's, that's such an essential thing that you've done yesterday. So, uh, well, we will start with a tribute to our country, to all the corona fighters, to all the COVID warriors. Mm -hmm. And... That's a tour of India with the sounds of India from different parts of the country, from the mountains to the deserts, to the rivers, the tea estates of Assam. We're trying our best to reproduce some of the sounds of the, of the, of the earth, of the land, and, and say thanks to all those who have made it possible for us to be at home and safe during the lockdown. Well, this is based in Ram Desh, which signifies a country. However, as I'm playing with the Western classical pianist and I'm Indian classical, there's a lot of coming together that we are going to do in this piece. And as I move from one piece to the other, do look out for the changes in the rhythm and the melody. Because they say that the 
hardest change needs the softest touch. We have to weave notes and bridges to be able to go from one place of change to the other. Oh, my God. 
Sunita, thank that's you. just outstanding. It's just outstanding. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, you know, it's so, so difficult for us artists not to hear the sound of the audience. But there are claps in the back. Yeah, I know. I can see the virtual claps. Uh, and uh, what I wanted to actually point out is that when we know that we are challenged when we are working with certain people or we're working with different kinds of people, we'll have to be very cognizant of that. What are the areas that they will be strong at what with what are the areas that we want to showcase of their craft of their knowledge because as i started saying that ranajit is trained in a completely western classical style and i played playing for 40 years of the same indian classical style so to be able to find out those spaces that work well has been uh, a, a journey of about six weeks now that we've been playing together so uh, we can really learn some great, great lessons of teamwork playing you know working with differences working with each other, uh, the art of collaboration and partnerships uh, through the medium of music itself. But let's now move on to what else does music do for us, apart from being a great aesthetic medium. Uh, it's, it's scientific and the therapy that people uh, feel when they hear a piece of music is not intangible. It is not uh, something that is only feel good. Actually, when you hear a piece of music, and when your brain or mind responds to it, then you send signals to different parts of the body, the brain does that, and your nervous system calms down, and that's when the body starts producing the feel good hormones called endorphins. And uh, you know, all of you, I'm sure, are either from the HR world or from some professional world, or maybe from the best profession in the world, you could be homemakers, uh, taking care of the operation at home. Um, there are two other hormones that actually work very well. Uh, along with music, along with endorphins. And that's the hormone of serotonin and oxytocin. So if there is kindness, nurturing, love, caring. These are the two hormones that work over time in, in your body. So that's why when people give a part of their lives, their time or their knowledge or their wealth, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a big philanthropic check. But you give something to people who needs it, that's when the hormone of serotonin and oxytocin really flows. And if you have these three hormones, we are, we are not going to get old because it really arrests supposedly the aging symptoms of human beings. Well, coming back to, coming back to where we are with music, um, uh, I remember Sudhaya asking me about if I could take uh, the audience through uh, what are the different kinds of music that we can do, especially during our lockdown at home. 
if I want to, if you want to divide our normal day into seven uh, activities that most of us may like to do. So when we look at students, students will have to study during the lockdown. Professionals have to work. Then everyone has to do chores. Um, we'll have to go for a little walk, maybe around the house or down, wherever we are allowed. Some of us resort to yoga. A lot of us have to cook. Um, then we eat together with a family and then we go to sleep. So there are seven modes that I think most of us are going through during our lockdown schedule at home, whether we are working from home or we already are working from home. So let's start with the morning. When we say morning, um, you know, we are either studying, students are studying, or we are going through our notes that we want to use for the day. Uh, that's the time when our metabolism is not very high because we are sluggish. So that's the mm -hmm. time when pieces of classical music really um, help us and, and, you know, helps us to study be better, learn better. Because if at that time we hear something which has got a lot of rhythm, either a rock, uh, rock uh, piece or something which is so rhythmic that we get diverted from there, that's when we may not be able to study and read well. Um, so, and learning requires a mind to be uh, very calm and composed. Uh, that's when we can listen to uh, classical music. And the same goes for when you're working on our laptops and computers and actually getting ready for our meetings. If you're, if you're listening to something which you really like, that you may get diverted from your work. So we can look at tunes, which could be either classical symphonies of Western style, or it could be Indian, alaps and bandishas again. There is no prescription to the kind of music that we like. It could be anything that your, your taste and uh, uh, you know, your exposure has been for and what you like. Because therapy and alternative healing happens only when we do what our mind and body are ready for. Much like our cooking, our gardening, our walking, our uh, painting, our gym, our sex life. Whatever that we like doing and our mind and body are ready for gets those feel-good hormones into our body. So, um, so that takes care of studying and going to, you know, working on the laptop. Let me take a break here and do a bit of music on that note. Because once the trainer starts talking, I really don't want the 45 minutes to go off in talking. So let me show you how music is created so that you know what's the essence around it. So music is filled with seven notes. And the most profound lesson of creativity we can learn from these seven notes because with only these seven notes we can create hundreds and thousands and millions and trillions of melodies. I'll show you how. If these seven notes were given to a classical guru, what would he or she do? Create a rag out of it. If you gave them to a music composer, he or she would create this song out of it. Let's see if you can guess the song. Mind you, only seven notes, the same same structure. Thank you. 
That was a, a very melodious piece, but we will, um, um, we can, any, any kind of music, uh, it could, this, this was a romantic song, but even a very, um, uh, a song from the cabaret. So uh, music also teaches us another very, very profound lesson of there is no class or mass. Like the COVID virus has no class or mass, but it hits anyone. Music always used to use these words. I never heard a class or mass. So it doesn't, it can be any kind of song, but if, if it's the seven notes, and that's what makes the difference. Let's see if you can know this song. created by the seven notes that's not the case let me let me show you this third the last one in this example and let me see if you can guess that song and it's from hollywood by the way And the spaces between us, you can't see Thank you. 
thank you, Ranaji, for doing that piece. Thank so you. that was the thank section you. on how, how music is created. Um, it doesn't matter in which school, to which school we, we went, you know, and if you can't speak English very well, but it depends on how well we communicate, how we understand the concepts of our domain, and if we can align our body of knowledge, our experience of what the world, or what our job roles are, the market needs today. That's what music is the same thing. We are not great musicians that we could play that. But because we got trained, I got trained in the notes over the years and it's been 40 years that I have to play the same ragas over and over again. The deeper the depth, the wider the expertise. And the reason that Ronaldo could play some of the Indian pieces is not because he's a great pianist. It's because he's got trained in the Western classical structure. Any structure is a great domain to work with and that gives you more flexibility. The deeper the depth, wider the flexibility. Now coming back to our schedule at home, we've done some study, we've done some work on the laptop, but we really have to cook, right? Because uh, you know, everyone's being able to cook their meals. So especially doing household chores, especially cooking, that again has to be very melodic, you know, because cooking again is an art. You know, you've got to mix the ingredients, you need to have a nice frame of mind, um, you need to be happy because they say all your energy goes into the, your cooking and you're not cooking for anyone else at this point. You're cooking for your own family, which is all stressed and so are you. So melodic music and, and lyrics and words that make you happy. Let's not have the Devdas lyrics or something very, very strong from Bach or something very complex from Beethoven. Maybe the Mozart pieces may help you in that. So that's about uh, cooking. Well, doing household cleaning, the chores, you know, the katka, the jhagu, the dusting, the bartan, you have to have rhythm because your body tends to slow down. How much will I keep washing the dishes? How much will I keep cleaning? So rhythm is very important when you are listening, putting on music, when you're doing your chores. So rhythm, so it could be fast pieces that you like to hear, fast-paced Bollywood songs, rock music, and also symphonies of people like Mozart. I don't know which are the more faster ones that uh, Ranaji could know them and that's when you that that's the kind of uh, music you need to hear because you don't want to slow down you want the music to keep egging you to go on and finish that show then comes your own time when you do your yoga meditation it has to be really slow has to be slow so the best prescription for meditative music are the Indian ragas the slow alaps without rhythm and those bandishes that are very slow and soft and the volume is important and so is the temperature. And then of course, you may want to go for your walk. Some people like to go for a walk. I don't know how much that's possible, maybe within the house, but walk again needs rhythmic patterns. So a lot of people like to hear various symphonies. Beethoven is famous for having very complex symphonies and innovating the earlier classics into his way of music. And of course, Mozart was before him. So, uh, uh, you know, you can you, you listen to a bit of Beethoven there, you can listen to the Mozart, and of course, your choice of music, keeping in mind the pace, okay? You can't hear a very slow bandish when you're actually doing your last home run in the treatment. But we have, so that's why in gyms, you see the music is so loud, I mean, it can't be so loud like that. It's really deafening in the gyms, but gyms, that's why I give you all that pumping music. And then when it's eating, you've got to be cognizant that it can't be something that diverts you because you're eating with people and you need to talk to them. So again, very ambient music. And when you're sleeping in the night, great rags like Savari, Darbari, Rupali. These are the rags that people listen and, and music therapy says that some of these rags help us to beat insomnia. Um, like Nipal actually helps us to beat stress, which is great during the afternoon. Uh, so some of these rags uh, help us to uh, induce the sleep. So these were the modes, various uh, Sleep modes. When you've talked so much about Mozart and Beethoven, I will request Ronaldo to play a very short Beethoven piece. You go to that solo. You don't have much time. Um, so short Beethoven piece, and then I will do a Mozart uh, on the violin. Thank you. 
on behalf of the entire audience for you because you're just doing such an awesome job and why are we not surprised that you're so talented you know the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree so i must say that this was just fabulous ronaji thank you thank you thank you so much so thanks ronaji for doing that well um so ronaji played his domain pure peace i didn't disturb him at all so but i also want to play some mozart i will not sound like a western violinist like when we speak in english when we go to america we try to put on the little accent but we still speaking english in the indian accent but we speaking right english correct english so i'm going to play mozart with an indian accent but it's nevertheless with mozart but and the same structure i'm going to move on to uh, indian raga the new universal notes of seven notes of music the values of leadership are universal the values of humanity are universal the language is different the style is different the theory is different the text and the structure but at the end of the day the the objective and the outcome is all the same so mozart's symphony which everyone knows you will know which symphony this is <laughs> Indian accent, by the way, it was just outstanding. Outstanding. Thank you. Really, thank really. you. Thank you. Oh. And, and actually, I just played the same rag with the seven notes because you know it it matched with it. So that was Mozart with rag bilaval. Um, I don't know how much time we have because um, um, I'm not wearing a watch. Uh, say that I'm, I'm just going to say that keep going. Yeah, just keep going for another five minutes, and after that, I'm going to give you some of the requests because there are lovely requests here. Okay, great. So, uh, so what I'll do is now to prove the point that music is universal. We played a bit of Bollywood. We played uh, Desh. We played Mozart. Uh, but I'd like to end with something that I love, which is folk music. But you might think that folk is only regional. Folk is uh, Dehati. Folk is uh, regional, and it's it's only of that particular region. folk musicians don't know to speak english um you know how do they communicate but the folk of assam where i come from and the folk of scotland the reels are so similar so we we'll end with a piece on fusion of coming together two ent entities two um uh, styles of music 
coming together because it's so universal to be doing something creative. Art is so universal. All right, so um, I'm just I'm just going to I'm just going to interject there to let everyone know that this is certainly not the last number for the evening. So don't leave because the best is yet to come. We've got all the requests for Sita coming up next, right? So great, great. All right, so I'll move here aside. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sunita and Ramajit. I want to be able to take the opportunity to be able to thank both of you incredible mm -hmm. artists, um, you know, even individually and what a double treat to have both of you together. Uh, Ramajit, there's lots of praise for you here on the chat and we're going to send a snapshot of that across to you. You are an incredible phenomena of, a, uh, of an artist and so many, many congratulations to you, Ramajit. Thank you so much. Thank and, uh, you so much. And uh, Sunita, you, of course, I mean, you know, you're, you're very, you're legendary in many ways. So I'm going to try and give you some of the requests. I'm going to be selfish and start with mine. And my okay. request to you is going to be my favorite, which is conversations. So uh, every, everyone watch this. This is amazing. This is a jugal bandi between two greats that Sunita has the incredible capacity to perform on her own. So I'm going to request Sunita for conversations. My God, conversations, you know, Ronajit has been saying that, why don't you play conversations? Uh, but I'm so not informed Sakura, to play conversations, but I will still play it with a promise. Just one second. With a promise that uh, 
people who are listening to us, Islam is not going to judge us, judge me for the conversation because my I'm locked down in someone else's home, in my sister-in-law's mm -hmm. home, where Ronajit stays, and I don't have my even all my bows. I mm -hmm. and I don't have the electric violin, and uh, well, these are the excuses that in Assam we say that you don't know to dance and you say that the ground is broken you know so the thing is that I'm not informed with conversation but I will try with this bow which Lovely. is um, yeah and mm -hmm. of course John is there and uh, two greats deep and grappily and El Subramaniam yes. Yes. played conversations and uh, conversations was the album more than 29 years back 30 years back yeah uh, when uh, 26 years back, when actually, I'm, going to, I'm going to say something that's going to sound. I'm going to say something that's going to sound blasphemous, but I want to prepare this audience for that, which is Sunita is better than both Stephen Grappelli and LS. I know this is blasphemous. Oh, oh my God! Right? My God! He's so nice. Go, go for it. Go, 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 go,
making the effort to do this um, yes, even yes. with not having the right kind of uh, violin in hand uh, I have a fantastic request and uh, uh, this is um, this is a request on asking you to perform Jina Yaha Marna Yaha on the violin are you being able to would you be able to do that I will try I've never played that song but uh, like I've been talking about practice I try to practice what I preach I said that the seven notes once you get trained in them you can mostly do all kinds of songs, I try. Lovely. Uh, we have a request for you to play uh, Abhija from Sur. Oh, that one I think I am not able to. Abhi, what's the scale? Okay. 
So we have a request from Indranil. He is asking you to play Bistirno Du Pare. Oh my God! That's the yeah. anthem. That's the yeah. song that, that defines me as whatever little artist that I've become. That's Dr. Pramin Hazarika's song, which shouts in the river and says that why do you keep flowing when there's so much degradation around you? So uh, and he also composed the same for the Ganga. And it's so relevant in today's time when Mother Nature is so furious with us. So the song goes, the Hindi version goes. I must say, absolutely fabulous. Um, we've got a request here whether you can, because you've got, you know, because it's got a violin bass, uh, you know, of the song. I have a request from Ashish Gakre on whether you can play Pyarka Nagmaya. Of course I can play. Ashish, Ashish Gakre, I think I 
we know him yes yes and i'm sure you like pyar ka nanga also has the notes yeah so like, when we hear a song we just try to the notes yeah okay on the same scale sari ga ga mon pa ma sari ga ga ma pa ma zindagi aur kuch bhi nahi teri meri Lovely, super stuff. Uh, we have a request on Mohabbate. The signature yeah, tune of Mohabbate. You know, um, that's a nice song, and actually, I don't know the song because the re reason I don't like to play that is because you know the guy who plays the violin is playing all the wrong things. They're using the violin as a toy, so I kind of <laughs> never learned that song. And uh, you know, and I'm, I'm, it's not a great it's a sar, and that I've not been in Bollywood, but sometimes I really don't like the trivialization of the violin. uh in bollywood but uh, mohabbat ka gana agar if someone can tell me i try to sing um ha okay, what what is it like is it the nabhi ja that mohabbat ko oh, that is arman sami um well i'm i know i'm 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 uh, just pleasing a lot of people okay, but, uh, yeah, I, okay. I, I, i don't know the song if i got the song someone's going to yeah. say it yeah ashish do you ashish do you know the song if you can just type it for me i'll call it out yeah Is it Ashish's request? Uh, I think many people have requested. Ah, uh, you know. Okay, what about Hotel California? Hotel California. I think you're tired now. Hotel Tired California. now. It will be a tough song. Tired now. Okay, ah, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Pirates of the Caribbean is Ronajit's pet piece. Like it's my. Okay. Oh, okay. Ronajit, it's a live session. Come on. It's not. You can't do that. Come on. One, two, three. Start. Pirates of the Caribbean. Thank you. 
Sunita, lovely Ronaljeet. Sunita, I want you to do me a favor. Uh, you know, uh, this time around, I want you to be able to pull in uh, Nitin Raheja. Can you pull him into the uh, into the webinar? We want to try and do a bit of a tribute for Rishi, for the the late Rishi Kapoor. So, um, Nitin, come in, and if you can sing, I'm just going to ask one of the audience members to sing. We've got some fabulous singers in the audience, and I'm going to point out saying. Dr. Deepak Deshpande, please don't leave uh, the uh, webinar yet because we want to get you to sing as well. So can you bring in Nitin? Nitin, would you like to present? Uh, I know you sing Main Shayar To Nahi So Well. And I'm just wondering if uh, if he can be supported with any music. If he can, fab, otherwise Nitin sing anyway. So ladies and gentlemen, very interested and very excited to introduce you um, to, um, you know, to ask and request uh, Nitin Raheja to be able to present, um, he sings beautifully well, so I'm gonna ask him to, yeah, you know, can you can you sing for us please, a nice tribute to the group. So, uh, should I get my amp, Sujaya? Okay, you yeah. all right, would you like to get an app? Okay. A few minutes. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, so let's in the interim pull in Dr. Deepak Deshpande. So, uh, Sunit, can you pull in um, Deepak Deshpande because he's a fab singer and I'm going to leave it to him on what it is that he'd like to sing this evening for us. So, Deepak, please come in. So Abhijit Kaho uh, also needs to be pulled in when we get Nitin because he says my Shayar to Nahi is also his favorite song. Sunit, can you pull in Dr. Deepak Deshpande? Yeah, I'm in. Mean. Lovely, lovely. Super, if you can get your mic on and your... Um, I think uh, Sunit needs to unmute you, uh, you know, unmute you, and also switch on your video so we can see you. And um, we love the backdrop. Park uh, is looking fantastic, and we like you in front of that backdrop as well. So please tell us what song are you going to sing? Uh, this is a song from Arup's first movie with Rishi Kapoor. So Okay. Just one minute, I'm almost done. Okay, here we go.
पूछेंगे तुम्हें प्यार करके नहीं सोचेंगे तुम्हें प्यार करके नहीं ये दिल बेकरार करके नहीं आपों में छुपाया तुमको यादों में बसाया तुमको आप में छुपाया तुमको यादों में बसाया तुमको मिलोगे हमें तुम जान कहीं ना कहीं सोचेंगे तुम्हें प्यार करके नहीं ये दिल पे करा I can tell you, and also as a background singer, 
you're just fabulous. So thank you, and the backdrop and all works so beautifully well. So super stuff. You were really fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we can we now pull in Nitin Raja, and this is going to be the last song. And thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, you'll be extending the evening for those who are still having fun with this. So, Nitin, can we get you in yeah, to be able to? Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, this is a tribute to Rishi Kapoor, uh, and it's also a song which one of our friends uh, loves and wants me to sing every time. So, here goes, guys.
round of applause to you and to Ronaldji. Thank you very, very much. We shall see you again soon. And meanwhile, thank you, Ronaldji. You are so blessed. You're so talented. You're a gem. Thank and you. I have to say that to you. God bless both of you. You really entertained and warmed the cockles of our hearts. It's just beautiful comments here. Everyone loves you. And I'm not surprised. Thank you. And we have to be able to say that uh, we will wait and look forward to bringing you back. What a great start to the Sundowner series. Thank you for doing this for us. Thank yeah, you. For Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation, Sujaya, as always. And thanks to Nitin and Deepak Ji for yes. sharing the music with us. Yes. And the Rishi Kapoor tribute. Really, thank you so yes. much.